Hello everyone. Welcome to Amasapti webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to fully remove Microsoft Azure AD Connected tool from Windows Server 2022. Azure AD Connect is a great tool that allows admins to sync on premises Active Directory credentials from local domain environments with Azure Active Directory or Microsoft 365. Enabling Azure AD Syncing enables a single sign-on for Microsoft services for all Active Directory accounts. While it is not a common occurrence, there may be reasons that you would need to remove Azure AD Connect tool from your environment. But if required, this can be achieved in a few short steps. It involves both removing Azure AD Connect tool from the on-premises local domain as well as deactivating the Azure AD Sync service in the cloud. In the last video, we have seen the steps on how to disable and re-enable Azure AD Sync service in cloud. In this video, we want to completely remove the integration between on-premises Active Directory and Azure Active Directory. This is going to be full video. So again, I will cover all the steps which are required even if we have covered it in the last video. This is our domain controller named WS2K22-DC01 for msfsurat.local domain. On this domain controller, we have installed and configured Azure AD Connect tool. Before doing anything, let's first check Azure AD Connect sync status in Azure Active Directory. You can access Azure AD portal using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. On overview page, we can see the status of Azure AD Connect. AD Sync is currently enabled and last sync was less than one hour ago. So we can confirm that Azure AD Sync is currently enabled in our Azure AD tenant. Under Manage, click on Users. Here we have some users which have sync from our on-premises Active Directory to this Azure Active Directory. Keep in mind that when we disable the sync between Azure AD and on-premises Active Directory, these users will be converted into cloud-only user accounts. After disabling the sync, we will again check the status of these users. Go back to our domain controller VM. If you have not installed the Microsoft Azure AD module for PowerShell, you need to install it first. Right-click on Start button and select Windows PowerShell Admin. I have uninstalled the MS Online module, so first we will reinstall it. To install MS Online module on our domain controller, type cmdelete install hyphen module space MS Online. Press Enter to install it. If prompted to install additional modules, name NuGet and PS Gallery. Type Y for yes and press enter to continue. Here we are getting warning message that you are installing the modules from an untrusted repository. Are you sure you want to install the modules from PS Gallery? Type A for yes to all and press enter key. The Azure AD PowerShell module has been installed successfully on our domain controller. Next. We will disable the AD Sync service using PowerShell CMDelete. But before that, we need to connect to Azure AD using CMDelete connect MS Solve service. Type CMDelete connect MS Solve service and press Enter to connect to Azure Active Directory. We need to complete the authentication process. So enter the Azure AD Global Administrator username here which is mwadmin at msfsurat.onmicrosoft.com in our case. Click Next. Tap the password and click on Sign In. We are now successfully connected to Azure Active Directory. 
First, check the current status of on-premises syncing using PowerShell CMDLate. For that, we need to run the CMDLate get msall complaint information dot directory synchronization enabled. Press Enter key to execute this CMDLate. We can see the output is true. That means on-premises syncing is currently enabled. Now, let's see how we can disable it. For that, we need to type cmdelete set hyphen msall dir sync enabled space hyphen enable dir sync space dollar false. Press enter to disable the on premises syncing. It will ask for the confirmation. Type y and press enter to disable it. The cmdelete is executed successfully. Let's again check the status of the on-premises syncing. If syncing has correctly been disabled, the result will be false. We can see this time the output is false. That means on-premises syncing is disabled. Go back to Azure AD Admin Center web interface. Click on Azure Active Directory. Uh, check the status of Azure AD Connect on Overview page. Azure AD Connect is not enabled and Sync has never run. So we can confirm that we have successfully disabled the Sync between on-premises Active Directory and Azure Active Directory. Under Manage, I'm going to click on Users. Now we need to wait a little longer to update the user account status. Eventually, these user accounts will be converted into cloud-only user account. So I'm going to pause the video recording. I'll resume it when all the users converted into cloud-only user accounts. After waiting for 5 minutes, these users converted into cloud-only user accounts. We can confirm that now we don't have any on-premises sync enabled user in our Azure Active Directory. Next step is to uninstall the Azure AD Connect tool on our Domain Controller. Go back to Domain Controller VM. Open Run menu. Type appvis.cpl. Press Enter key to open Programs and Features. Click on Microsoft Azure AD Connect and click on Uninstall. Remember, this wizard will uninstall the Microsoft Azure AD Connect Health Agent for Sync, Microsoft Azure AD Connect Synchronization Services, and Microsoft SQL Server Components. It is asking us, are you sure you want to uninstall Microsoft Azure AD Connect tool? I'm going to click on Yes. The Uninstall Azure AD Connect wizard will pop up. Make sure the checkbox also uninstall supporting components are selected. Click on remove to start the process. Give it a couple of minutes and you will see the green check marks on the all components. We can see all green check marks as already connect tool is successfully uninstalled. Click on exit. We can also confirm that as already connect is removed from the programs and features list. Uh, let me refresh it. We also want to uninstall Microsoft Azure AD Connect Agent Updater and Microsoft Azure AD Connect Health Agent for ADDS. Let me select the first one, Agent Updater, click on Uninstall, click Yes. Uh, it is asking us to close the application. OK. Now let's do the same for Azure AD Connect Health Agent for ADDS. Click on Uninstall. Click on Uninstall button. OK, I'm going to click on Close. Perfect. Uh, let me close Programs and Features window. Now I'm also going to close Windows PowerShell. And let me close Server Manager Console as well. Because we're going to restart the server. After reboot, sign into Windows Server again using administrator's username and password. 
Uh, let me minimize the saw manager. Uh, I'm going to open file explorer. Go to C drive, program files. Right click on Microsoft Azure Redis sync folder and select delete to remove Microsoft Azure Redis sync folder. Let's delete Microsoft Azure AD Connect Agent Updater. And we are going to do the same for Authentication Agent. Again, go back to the C drive. Uh, double click on Users. And here we have a one folder which is related to Azure AD Connect. So I'm going to remove the folder AD Sync. Let's delete it. So now Azure AD Connect is successfully removed from our server. Uh, we also want to check the status of services. So let's open Services Management Console. We can confirm that we don't have any Azure AD service installed on our server. Let's go back to Azure AD Admin Center. Uh, right now we are on a users. Uh, I'm going to click on refresh to see the updated list. Perfect. Here we can see on premises directory synchronization account. On premises directory synchronization service account. This user account will be deleted automatically. But I'm going to manually delete the on premises directory service account. Let's select the user account. Now here we can see the name of our domain controller as well, that ws2k22-dc01. So after selecting the user account at top bar, click on delete. It will ask for the confirmation, delete the selected user, click on OK. OK, we got the confirmation message that user successfully deleted. But that user account is still listed here, so I'm going to refresh it. Now it is still there. So let me refresh again. And now the directory sync service account has been removed successfully. Keep in mind that you can always reinstall Azure AD Connect on the same server if required. So that concludes the video on how to fully remove Microsoft Azure AD Connect tool from Windows Server 2022. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.